wide jubilation in Kano State as we speak as the Supreme Court annulled the judgment of the Appeal Court and the Tribunal Court. Previously, Tribunal Court and the Appeal Court have, you know, cancelled the election that brought Abba Kabil Yusuf, as, uh, that brought him victory at the last concluded election. But thank God that uh, the Supreme Court has, you know, said that Abba Kabil Yusuf is the legitimate winner of the election because this has been one of the most controversial um tribunal judgments so far we know how you know the judgment has been so contradictory and you know there has been tension and i know that they themselves they know that <laughs> if they have done anything contrary or if you know the judgment is is different from from what it, it, it is, <laughs> probably by now we'll be hearing that uh, they are setting somewhere on fire in Kano State. If the judgment had been that uh, Gawuna, the APC candidate in Kano State, is the one that won, <laughs> trouble, trouble will happen in Kano State. I'm very sure of that. So they know, they know that already there's tension on ground. They know the... The kind of you know thing that can happen if they had declared the APC candidate as the winner of the election, because we all know that <laughs> all of the uh, the the, the all kangaroo tribunal judgments and everything saying that it's typographical error, all of those things already people are you know watching, people are, are people are geared up already, you know. Before we go into the details of today's news, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please kindly subscribe, like these videos, leave your opinions in the comment section as well. Don't forget to also turn on the post notification bell so that you can be the first person to get notified whenever we upload a new video. How Supreme Court ruling unites Governor Yusuf Wiki in faith. So Wiki and Yusuf, they have a very similar, you know, journey to becoming the governor. Let's take a look at the details. Governor Abakabil Yusuf of Kano's, of Kano's victory at the Supreme Court on Friday brings to mind a similar feat recorded by former governor of River State. Governor Abakabi Yusuf of Kano's victory at the Supreme Court on Friday brings to mind a similar feat recorded by former Governor of River State, now Minister of FCT, Yosom Wiki, eight years ago at the Apex Court. Like Yusuf, who ran on the platform of a new Nigeria People's Party, NNPP, and defeated the ruling All Progressive Congress, APC, in Kano State's March 18 election, Wiki who contested under the People's Democratic Party, PDP, kicked out the, the then ruling APC in River State's 2015 election under the leadership of Rotimi Amechi. Shortly after the 2015 governorship election in Rivers, Dakoko Peter Said, the candidate of the APC in the election, dragged Wiki before the tribunal seeking nullification of his election. The Supreme Court has set aside the judgment of a court of appeal in Abuja, which nullified the election of Governor Kabi Yusuf of Kano State. A five-member panel of judges on Friday unanimously held that the lower courts misunderstood the import of a purported deduction of 165,616 ballot papers in favor of Governor Yusuf. The led judgment by Justice Eyang Okoro also held that the issue of Governor Yusuf's membership was a pre election matter. He said the findings that by the virtue of Section 177, Subsection C of the Nigerian Constitution and Section 134, Subsection 1 of the Electoral Act, 
Governor Yusuf was not sponsored by the NNPP, was not a finding of the Electoral Tribunal, but a mere observation that his name was not contained in the membership list. This court has consistently maintained that the issue of nomination or sponsorship of a candidate for an election is completely an exclusive prerogative of a political party he held. In October 2015, the River State Governorship Tribunal sacked Wiki and ordered fresh elections be conducted in the state, citing non-compliance with the provisions of the Electoral Act. The three-member tribunal, presided over by Justice Suleiman Ambusa, held that the petitioners successfully proved their case that the election was conducted in total disregard to electoral guidelines. Specifically, Ambusa said that the process of accreditation of the election was compromised with the use of incidents, forms, incident forms rather than adherence to card readers. It is the view of a tribunal that the election was held contrary to guidelines. Dissatisfied by the judgment, Wiki added to the appeal court. But the Court of Appeal also affirmed the judgment of a tribunal. Wiki approached the Apex Court and in February 2016, is sacked by the tribunal and the Court of Appeal was overturned. The Apex Court, in the lead judgment delivered by Justice Kudurat Kekiriedu, maintained that Wiki was denied fair hearing by the lower courts. Aside from faulting the lower court, which it said improperly evaluated the case, the apex court decried what it termed undue reliance of appeal courts and election tribunal on card reader reports. The Supreme Court restated its position that reports from the smart card reader machines the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, used for the conduct of the 2015 general elections cannot override the voters' register, which it said has firm roots in the Electoral Act 2010 as amended. In a unanimous decision, the Supreme Court said, though INEC should be commended for the introduction of a card reader, to boost the accuracy and transparency of the accreditation process and to maintain the democratic norm of one man one vote by dictating multiple voting by voters, section 49 subsection 1 and 2 of the Electoral Act, which provide for manual accreditation of voters, is a stamp, is a stamp and remain a vital part of electoral law. Barely eight years after Kanos Yusuf marched Wiki's feet in September 2023, the Governorship Election Petition Tribunal sitting in Kano State sacked Yusuf and declared the candidate of the APC, Nasir Yusuf Gawuna, as the winner of a March 18, 2023 election. The tribunal delivered its ruling via Zoom citing security concerns. In November, the Court of Appeal sitting in Abuja upheld the sack of Governor Yusuf of the NMPP and declared Gawuna the governorship candidate of the APC as the duly elected governor of the state. In a unanimous judgment of a three-member panel delivered by Justice Mo Adume, the appellant court dismissed the appeal filed by the Kano governor against the judgment of a state governorship election petition tribunal, which declared the Gawuna as the winner of a state governorship election held on March 18. Like Wiki, Yusuf approached the apex courts in the land in a judgment on Friday. 
The Supreme Court set aside the judgment of a court of appeal in Abuja, which nullified the election of Governor Yusuf. A five-member panel of justices on Friday unanimously held that the lower courts misunderstood the imports of a purported deduction of 165,616 ballot papers in favor of Governor Yusuf. You all, what are your thoughts? Let's have them in the comments section below. Subscribe if you haven't already done that. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye for now.